Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today we're going to be talking about some romances that have memorable meet cute moments. <laughs> That's some alliteration for you, huh? Memorable, meet cute moments. <laughs> anyway, these are romance books where the first meeting of this couple is absolutely iconic to me. <laughs> and I love it. Some of them are funny. Some of them are hot. Some of them are just like epic. So these are some of my favorite ever meet cute moments in romance books. We cannot talk about memorable meet cute moments without talking about Praise by Sarah Kate. <laughs> the meet cute of this book or the meet cute moment like to die for it is absolutely iconic a lot of people sell this book because of this moment they talk about how the couple meets and how it how it goes on from there like that is a lot of people's selling point for this book so this book starts out with our heroine named charlie she is talking to her now ex-boyfriend and wanting to get the security deposit back or her half of the security deposit back on the i believe apartment they both rent it out and um, it's in his dad's name. And so he doesn't have it. He's like, if you want your security deposit back, you gotta go, you gotta go to my dad's office. Cause like, I, I don't have it. So she goes to the office and there's a little bit of a mix up because Emerson in here is the owner of the Salacious Players Club thing where um, it's a certain type of club if you catch my drift, okay? It's a certain type of club. And he has been in search of a new sub for him like to be around his office with him. And so um, when Charlie shows up to his office one day, the person who is like filling in as his assistant right now, she's like thinking that Charlotte is, or Charlie Charlotte is um, a new sub for hire. She tells Charlotte, let's go into his office. Like you can wait for him there and you should probably be on your knees just by the way. And Charlie's like, what? Why should I be on my knees? When the moment he comes in the room, he's like, oh, why aren't you on your knees? Because he thinks that she's someone she's not. And um, she kind of goes along with it because she needs this money back. She's like, okay, this is kind of weird, but I'll go along with it. I need the money. And when he figures out that this woman is his son's ex-girlfriend, he is mortified. He's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Here's the money. Like, you can take it. I'm so sorry. I thought you were someone you weren't. And things go from there. And he ends up actually hiring her as his actual assistant in his office to hopefully get closer to his son because him and his son are kind of estranged at this point. And um, throughout the process of that, she might become his actual like sub. So <laughs> that moment where they meet each other, <laughs> the mix up and everything, like it is so memorable. Like everyone sells this book based off of that scene because it is everything. I also have to mention Bloody Heart by Sophie Lark, which is the fourth book in her Brutal Birthright series, which is a mafia romance series. This book takes place in two different timelines. You have the time when the characters are younger, when they first meet, and it jumps to present day when they are significantly older. This is about Dante and Simone. Dante's family is part of the mafia, and Simone is the daughter to a very rich, powerful man. Anyway, they bump into each other in a very interesting circumstance. So um, Simone's family is on their way to this big party and they're taking the limo and everything. And she decides not to go in with her parents at first. She's gonna kind of sit in the car for a bit before she goes inside. But while she's sitting in the car by herself, um, Dante comes and steals the car. He doesn't know that anyone's in the car. And so he steals the car, he gets in it, drives away. And then she kind of pops out of the back seat, like, what are you doing? And he is mortified. He's like, oh my gosh, I accidentally kidnapped someone. Like he just needed a short getaway car. And so like, he is mortified when he realizes he actually kidnapped a woman. And so then that starts their spiraling romance that I will leave you hanging off of because I don't know what is like spoiler and what is not when it comes to this book. I don't want to spoil anything. But the moment where they meet each other is just everything to me because like <laughs> it's an accidental kidnapping <laughs> and he literally steals her parents like car like with her in the car and that's how they meet each other and they cannot get enough of each other after that point and I love them so much and even like the second chance romance part that takes place in later years was everything as well. Next, I have Shattered Sea by Katherine Cowles. The meet cute moment in here is one of the most epic ones that I've read because I just 
loved it so much. So did Brie. This was a book that we picked for our Chronically Courageous book club last year. And the moment where these two meet each other, I think is beautiful. And it just leads into their romance so flawlessly. So our hero in here, Bowden, is actually a celebrity. He's trying to research a role for a future movie that's going to be a part of. He visits this small town of Wolf Gap, which is where the series takes place in, um, to learn more about a certain guy that is the inspiration for the role he's going to be playing and he lives in that small town so he's going to be staying in Wolf Gap for a little bit. One day he decides to explore the town and he's walking by this art gallery and just becomes completely entranced by one of the photos in the window. He thinks that this photo depicts grief in a way that he's never been able to visualize before ever and he wants that photo right then and there and he wants to meet the photographer like he is in love with this art. Lakin is the manager of the art gallery and that kind of sparks their meeting and their romance because he's inquiring about this photograph and them just they just start talking about art and photography and it leads into their connection of grief and loss and oh, it was beautiful and that moment just sparks their love for each other. And this meet cute moment is a little bit more low key compared to other books I'm gonna talk about in this video, but I could not not talk about it because it was very, very, very memorable to me. We're gonna switch gears a little bit and talk about more of a funny meet cute moment. And that definitely happens in Heartless by Elsie Silver. This is the romance between Cade and Willa. Cade is a single father who is looking for a nanny for his son. And that just so happens to turn out to be Willa. Willa is gonna be hired to be his nanny. But before he realizes who Willa is, before he meets her for the first time as like a nanny interview role, um, he ends up meeting her in a coffee shop in town and he's standing behind her in line and she ends up dropping something out of her purse. And it just so happens to be her underwear. <laughs> and <laughs> this moment is so funny too, because like they have this great bantering going on between the two of them. And by the end of the conversation, he's like, um, cause she has to leave. He's like, do you want your underwear bag? Like, here you go. She goes, you know what? Finders keepers, you can keep them. And she just walks out like, Okay, that woman is doing something. I love Willa so much. And then when they meet each other again, when Cade realizes who Willa is, like she is the best friend to his brother's fiance and that's how she got this job and everything. Like he's not that happy that he's very attracted to his son's nanny, but his son is like in love with her. So he has to hire her. That moment was hilarious. Everyone loves that moment in the book and it just fully encapsulates Willa as a person and Cade as a person. Like. Like, uh, iconic. Next, I have Plain Love by Avery Kingston. This is a little novella that I just had a blast reading. This is the romance between Lainey and Xavier. Their meet cute moment is very memorable to me because the heroine, um, Lainey, is on this airplane and she is terrified of airplanes. So you know what she decides to do? To get a little drunk <laughs> on the airplane. And she's just loosey-goosey with her mouth and is blabbery jabbery next to the person next to her who is Xavier. Xavier actually got on the plane before Lainey. She almost missed her flight because she was getting a little bit drunk. Um, so Xavier got on the plane before her and he's actually a wheelchair user. And the whole time they're talking to each other on this plane, he doesn't know how to like tell her that he is actually a wheelchair user. Um, Cause how do you just blurt that out you know because he's not sitting in his wheelchair on the plane and so there's even points where she's trying to get by him to go to the bathroom and he won't stand up and she's like kind of pissed like why won't this guy like stand up like I, I have to go to the bathroom and so he just he, he doesn't know how to tell her like I'm in a wheelchair I cannot walk um but then the two of them after their plane ride their very entertaining banter filled plane ride um they realize that they're actually going to the same wedding when they show up at the wedding at this like destination wedding by the way they're going to a destination wedding um so that moment where they meet each other is very memorable to both of them and to myself because Lainey in here is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> this was such a fun short read. So if you want a little novella, I definitely recommend picking this one up. Another novella that I have is Snowstorm by Cassie Mint. The meet cute moment in here is so funny to me. So the heroine in here, she's on a tour. She's visiting England and she's on a tour of this big estate with a tour group. And she is 
like so tired. She's a lot of jet lag from traveling and everything, but she really wanted to go on this tour. And um, she kind of veers off from the tour group and is sitting on this bench in this room full of paintings and just watching them, watching them, looking at them and just really admiring the artwork. Next thing she knows, she is woken up by somebody. She actually fell asleep on the bench. She finds out that her tour group also left her. Like they forgot about her. So they're not even in the building anymore. So the heroine in here is being woken up by the guy who owns the estate. His name is Theo. He owns the estate. He's a duke. And <laughs> he's very confused why this beautiful woman is asleep on a bench in his home. So he wakes her up and is trying to like like move her along to go home, to like leave his home. And then the snowstorm happens and she is stuck in his house with him. And with this forced proximity situation, they get to know each other more and talk and fall for each other. Like, and they have like a grand old time together if you get my drift. So like this, <laughs> the moment where she's just like waking up and is like, why is this dude waking me up? Like, who is he? <laughs> and, then, and then the hero Theo's like, why is this woman asleep in my home? Like, who is this woman? <laughs> So funny to me. One of my favorite meet cute moments in a monster romance would definitely have to go to Muscles and Monsters by Ashley Bennett. This is a monster romance between Tegan and Atlas. They are um, from two different like species of people. She's a human and he's a monster. Monsters and humans now like live together in harmony, but you don't see a lot of humans dating monsters. That's just not typical. It's not what's going on right now. Um, there are those couples, but they're not as prevalent as people matching up with their respective like species, you know? Um, are humans species? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, Tegan um, owns a bakery in this little strip center of buildings. And um, she is currently actually making a wedding cake for like the mayor's daughter who is marrying a monster, which is really cool. And so she really wants to make this cake and she's trying to put it in her car to go deliver the cake. And the cake, part of it, plops on <laughs> the sidewalk like she drops it and and basically right in front of atlas who's walking down the street atlas is the wolf like monster creature on the cover and he owns the workout gym that many monsters work out at but anyone is welcome there but he owns the gym down the road and he kind of helps tegan with her little cake mishap and he ends up actually tasting part of it and is obsessed with her food so after that point after he helps her out like they cannot stop thinking about each other and tegan decides like what's an excuse where I can bump into him again? Let me get a gym membership at his gym and have him train me. So it goes from there. This one is so sweet and so cute. I love it so much. And that me cute moment was just like everything to me because it also incorporates baking and I love baking. So I have three historical romances I have to mention. First, I have uh, The Princess and the Rogue by Kate Bateman. Every time I think about <laughs> the two of these characters meeting, a smile just gets put on my face because I think it is so Funny. This is the romance between Sebastian and Anya. Anya here is actually like a Russian princess, but she's in hiding. She's Princess Anastasia. This is an Anastasia retelling. Sebastian ends up going to a certain place where you can pay to be with women, okay? And um, he's just wanting to get with a woman for the night. And um, Anya is there because she has been hired to help these women learn how to read. And so she's been teaching them how to read. And she's there one day in the establishment and Sebastian bumps into her thinking that she's one of these working women. And he's just like, I will pay any amount of money to be with you. Like, I, I am totally into you. I, I need you now. <laughs> and I'm just like, sorry, sir, I don't work here. Like, you can even ask, like, the head lady here. Like, I don't work here. And she even, like, vouches for her, like, yeah, no, that's Anya. She does not work here. Like, it's fine. And Sebastian's like, I don't care. I want to be with you. Be with me, please. And I'm just like no sir no not gonna happen and so they do have though this very memorable kiss when they part ways and sebastian just cannot stop thinking about her and it goes from there um this is an anastasia retelling which i love anastasia retelling so i really enjoyed this one but that fun that moment was just so funny to me just so funny and um, <laughs> this historical was just so amazing to read. Next, I have Accidentally Compromising the Duke by Stacey Reed. Our heroine in here is set to marry this um, old man she does not care for. Like her parents are gonna set her up with this guy and she's like, I, no, I don't wanna marry that. I wanna marry for love at least. And she thinks she's in love with like a very close guy friend of hers. And she's like, you know what? I'm gonna put together this scheme where I will get ruined by my friend 
so I can marry him instead of this gross old man. So she goes on with this plan. Her like best friend, our other best friend's like a woman, helps her out with this plan and everything. And the plan involves her walking into um, the guy's room in the middle of the night and then someone walking in on them. But she ends up walking into the wrong room. Um, she walks into the Duke's room. His name is Edmund. <laughs> and uh, he is totally for this woman just coming into his room and getting with him. Like he's like, okay, let's go. <laughs> Um, but I think he also has like reputation. I think there's like a rumor going around that he killed his late wife, which is not true. And he's actually been looking for a mother for his two daughters for quite some time. Then she gets ruined. People find out, like people walk into the room and see them together. She gets ruined by him. And he sees this as the perfect opportunity to finally have a mother for his daughters. So he's like, I'll marry you. Let's go. And so uh, Adelaide, the hair in here, has no other choice but to marry this man. She does not know. And she thinks that he killed his wife. I thought the meet cute moment in here was absolutely priceless <laughs> like the two of them realizing like who are you who are you like I loved it so much and um I really enjoyed this romance as a whole lastly one of my favorite meet cute memorable moments ever comes from this book for my ladies kissed by Linda Needham like <laughs> absolutely everything this is actually like a like enemies to lovers kind of like kidnapping ish romance but I'll leave it at that for like the main summary I'm just gonna describe the meet cute moment to you because it is everything. McKenna lives in this village and her father and her brothers have been very persistent on her marrying already. Like they're like, you need to get married, you need a husband to kind of tame you and take care of you because you're a little out of control, honey. And so she's like, okay, I'll make up this game. I'm gonna blindfold myself and a bunch of eligible men that have been vying for me will stand in a circle around me and I'll spin and the first man that I touch will be my husband, okay? So she sees all the men around her. She's like, okay, I know all these men. I grew up with all these men. Like, I know them all. Let's put the blindfold on. But then a lord comes who's gonna like, kind of like take over the land and is like, what's going on here? Like, why is the circle of men here? He stands by the circle and McKenna just happens to touch him. And everyone's like, what? <laughs> and she takes off her blindfold. He doesn't know what's going on. And she's just like, who are you? Like she thinks he is beautiful, amazing, like gorgeous. But then she realizes who he is and why he's there to kind of take over her village and she is not happy about it. That's the me cute moment between the two of them that I just loved so much. So I love this one. It's one of my favorite like historicals that I read in a while. So please pick it up if you have a copy. Um, I think you can get it off of Amazon. I think it's, I don't know if there's an ebook version of this, but like, this historical was everything to me. Anyways, there you have it. Those were 10 romance books with absolutely memorable meet cute moments for me. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these or if you plan to. And what are some of your favorite romances with memorable meet cutes? I would love to know. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me the uh, face with the emoji with the sunglasses. <laughs> I think it's really funny. Anyways, um, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.